Hi, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually sculpt and modify your landscape still using Terrain Magic. So here we created this landscape using Terrain Magic, but sometimes we need to do some manual tweaking in the landscape and maybe using the landmass plugin or some other blueprint brushes you have. So here's how to do that. So I assume that you created this uh, landscape using uh, Terrain Magic. If you don't know, check the description below. I have several links on how to create a landscape using Terrain Magic. Right then, uh, you can go to landscape mode and then uh, go to the uh, sculpt section. So now we are manually trying to paint that. Before you do that, so here we have a option called edit uh, layers and there are one layer by default. So that's where all the sculpting that goes on here. So better and magic. And then right now I'm going to create a new uh, layer. I'm going to right click and select create. So it will create a new layer. So as you can see, it's called layer one. So I'm gonna, here we have a lock symbol. So basically we can unlock and unlock. So basically if you lock that, you cannot do any changes onto that layer. Right, right now I'm gonna uh, lock this uh, layer, the first layer, that's, that's where we did changes using uh, Terrain Magic. Right, then I'm gonna lock that. So we, we can manually change that. And I'm gonna unlock the first one. I'm gonna right click and rename that, let's say manual edit. Right, so now we have that. So I can simply start painting. And order is really important, so you need to be this manual edit to be the top of the your existing default layer. Right, I'm gonna do some sculpting, uh, maybe smoothing, maybe, yeah, something like that. Uh, let's say I just want to like smooth this uh, area a little bit, trying to smooth that. Okay, I think uh, it's good, it's good, and it's good and good, and I think I can increase the tool strength. Yep, like this. Yeah, as you can see now we got a really smooth uh, surface over here right right that's exactly what we need right let's say i just need to like to paint the this landscape uh using custom painting so i'm going to the paint section and also i'm going to select this this edit layer so i can grab any uh, paint brush uh, paint layer that i have i think i'm going to select the uh, sand alpha okay sand one and i'm going to start painting like this so now you can see how uh, we are doing this okay the interesting thing is now, so this is a semi uh, procedural way of changing your landscape. So you manually edit them, but you can easily uh, hide them and remove them. For example, here I'm inside the paint layer section. I can uh, hit this eye icon on this manual edit layer. So basically I can hide all the changes that, that I made. So it, it will simply uh, remove the sculpting and also the uh, paint layer information as well. I can hide that. Again, I can go to sculpt. Page, I can do the same but there's no difference between uh, this one uh, in the uh, sculpt section and the paint section likewise I can do uh, right click and I can clear this as well so I can clear everything so I can uh, clear the paint and you can select the layer that you painted it's quite powerful I'm gonna say I'm gonna paint all the uh, all the paint layer, layer section so basically it will remove the paint so yeah like that you can uh, remove everything and if you done uh, yeah I, I, I can simply yeah, remove everything and that's totally possible right now you know manually sculpt this likewise we can use any other landmass plugin as well for example let's try to create some sort of like a slide uh, over here so here's how i'm gonna do that i'm gonna go to the uh, sculpt section and here i'm gonna go to the blueprint so i'm gonna select a blueprint brush i'm gonna select a landmass brush uh, we have custom uh, brush landmass this one uh, i think landmass river i'm gonna select that i'm gonna select somewhere on the screen so it will add a river brush over here. Okay, I'm gonna select that. All right, so we have a couple of uh, spline points. I'm gonna drag these to the top. All right, I'm gonna do some changes. Right, so now we have that. So I'm gonna a little bit, uh, yeah, I'm think I'm gonna, yeah, put it down a little bit. Okay, now we have some sort of like a slight, so path that I can go uh into this uh mountain and let's do some changes over here pretty simple changes i'm not going to explain these things because this is a landmass stuff you can uh, simply search uh, youtube on how to do like how to create a, a road using landmass and you have this uh okay i'll do some changes and uh i'll i'll see you in, in a few seconds all right now we have it so now we have uh, some sort of like a rocky setup uh to my mountain so i can walk uh, towards that and jump and jump and go to this uh, stage kind of uh, area so this is how i did this with the landmass plugin so within the landmass uh, brush 
that we have so you can combine terrain magic and landmarks just fine again with the water plugin as well so likewise i can simply hide this i do changes i can get it back uh yeah now we have it all right that's it for today i think this will be useful uh see you soon with something interesting bye